and welcome back. My name is Lexi Chong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. And today I have an old fashioned haul video and it's been a little while since I did one of these and I have a lot of items that have kind of accumulated here. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up. We've got the Beautylish sale, the Sephora sale, Chantecai sale and so forth. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up and let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off with Chantecai. And Chantecai had a bestseller sale where, where selected items were 40% off. And again, if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, please make sure you do. I'm at Alexis Jong and I post sale information there all the time to my stories in particular. Now, I picked up quite a few things. First, I picked up new versions of my face masks, or not new versions, but new um, jars. So the hibiscus smoothie mask, the jasmine and lily healing mask, and the detox charcoal mask. So I did pick up those. And then I picked up this. This is the HD Perfecting Powder. And it was the shade Translucent was the one that was on sale. So it comes in a gunmetal pebble compact. So it's the same style of compact as the Philanthropy Cheek Shades, but it's gunmetal instead of a bright silver. So this is plastic. And this is the powder. So I had asked a question during one of the lives with Shantakai, and they had suggested using this for somebody with fair skin over the, uh, the Perfect Blur powder because I mentioned that sometimes when I use you know, too much of that, I get kind of a peachy yellowish tint to my skin. It's a little bit too dark if I go in heavy. So this should be a good alternative, something I can also use. So we'll test this out. I also picked up another Fossil Longest Lash Mascara because, well, it was on sale. And I just started trying my other tube of this. So now I've got a couple of them. And I picked up the Brow Gel, which I have been curious about. So this is the shade Light. We'll test this out sometime. Then I also picked up the Protect the Wolves Eyeshade Trio. This was a limited edition trio that came out, um, I don't know, it's been a few years. I remember when it came out and I know for sure it was more than two years ago because I was living in a different house. <laughs> this was something I had wanted at the time and I tried to get it and it had sold out and I missed it. So I don't know what happened. Maybe they had a restock and I never checked back or maybe you know they found more of them but they are on site now so i picked this up and here it is so it comes it's the same type of case as the safari trio and this is you know again the gray gunmetal we've got the image of a wolf here this is a metal plate that at, is basically attached to this we have a mirror inside and then we have three shades as well as an eyeshadow brush. So these are the three shades and I did just kind of smear it on my arm when I was moving my sleeve. But here they are. And I'm definitely curious about testing these out. I love these types of colors. And the Safari Trio for me was just, it was a little bit too light and a little bit too warm. These colors look like they are more my, more my speed. So we'll test those out. I also picked up a highlighter that, you know, it was one of those ones when it came out, I almost got it so many times and then I didn't and I just could never make up my mind. It's so pretty, but I wasn't sure if it would work for me. This is the Le Paillette. And I can't bring myself to swatch this right now, but look at it. It's gorgeous. I believe this came out a couple of years ago. I want to say maybe 2000 and. 16 would be my guess, maybe 2017. So somewhere around there, I believe, is when this came out. And I don't remember, but I want to say it was a holiday highlighter. Those are the items I picked up from Shantakai. Now, I have had some requests for Victoria Beckham doing a full face look. I picked up a few items of hers. I actually picked these up when I picked up the two posh lipsticks, but I haven't had a chance to try them out yet. I picked up the lip definer in O2. So I've been testing this out and I will be doing the Victoria Beckham video soon. So I'll have those up and I've been wanting to wear that to kind of test how well it works. I also picked up the Satin Kajal Eyeliner in the Coco shade. And that is one that, you know, sells out a lot. <laughs> so it's the Rich Brown. And then I also picked up 
one of the crystal infused eyeshadows. These are the Lid Lusters, and I picked up the shade Mink. Now she did just release two new shades and I'm going to try this out. And if I like the formula, I'll pick those up. So it comes with a little protector here. This is really pretty. I'm just gonna swatch from, I'm just gonna swatch from here. So this is the shade. I like the color I like the amount of sparkle. So I'll have to try this out very soon. Next, I also picked up a few things from Surratt and you've already seen one of them. I've had these items for a while now. That was the foundation brush. So I've had that for a few weeks now and I just posted a review of that one a few days ago. I also picked up a couple of other items. So I have the Surratt Hologram eyeshadows and I have the black base, but I picked up the light base. And I also picked up the hologram that is exclusive to Surratt's website. And this is the shade Supernova. And it's like this gorgeous green shade. So I can't wait to try this out. It's definitely something I plan on doing a video with, you know, other ones too. But I mean, look at that. As I, I move it, you see like this royal blue and this deep green. And then when I hold it flat like this, I don't know, can you tell? But for me, it looks purple. So this is what it looks like on my finger. I'm not sure how well it's going to swatch because these really do better with a base. So, wow. I mean, when I move it like this, the part I see turns like a fuchsia pink. I'm very curious about this shade. I also have one of the Suku eyeshadow singles. This is in a Tone Touch Eyes in number 13. The name is Kushi, it looks like. It's hard to see, it's small print, but it comes in this cute little thing. And I mean, <laughs> this shade looks gorgeous. So I can't wait to try this one out. I'll be doing a get ready with me at some point. We'll, we'll use this one. Let me just swatch this for you. Here it is on my finger. That's really pretty. Let's move on to the Beautylish sale. Now, my first order from Beautylish, I was very proud of myself because it was exactly $200 even, and they were all things that I wanted. It wasn't too expensive, and I was happy to, you know, get an even amount to maximize my gift card. And in this case, I picked up another Sonuji Soft Shader, which is like my favorite eye brush. I also picked up these three from the Face Pro Set, which I did not have. I the Face Pro Set is basically all I'm missing from her brushes, that and then the base one brush. So we've got the Fan Pro, the Cheek Pro, and the Detail Pro. So I have started testing these, and after I have used them for a while, I will let you guys know my thoughts on these. With the brushes, I also picked up this holiday set from Danessa Myricks. This is the Color Fix Trio in Smoky, and there are three shades in here. And, you know, I've been wanting to try these for quite a while, so I thought this was a great time. The, there are, there's like a, like a cream, like a metallic cream, and then there is a gray and a black. And the black one is matte, the cream one is a foil, and the gray one says it's a cream color and it's a metallic. I also picked up one of the new shades of the Sisley Phyto Rouge lipstick. And this was my first time using that. I, you know, I've been meaning to pick up one of their lipsticks for quite a while. And then when I heard they were creating new shades, I wasn't sure if it was also being reformulated. So I held off and it turns out it was just new shades. So I picked up this one from Beautylish. This is number 27, Rose Bolchoy or Bolchois. Not sure how to say it, but it looks very pretty. And from Sisley, I also picked up one that they were out of stock on and I really wanted to try. And that's called Beige Manhattan. So this here is Beige Manhattan. I've actually worn this already. I've done, you know, I actually already filmed a video for it, but I'm working with a few other people on it. We just haven't been able to get everybody's parts in yet. So that will be coming soon. You'll be able to see all four of the new shades. And I think I might've shared this in my last haul, but I picked up this Clay de Poe Radiant Lip Gloss in shade three, Charm. 
And again, it's something that I just haven't gotten to yet, but I think it is gorgeous. So I can't wait to play with this one. And then when I picked up the Sicily lipstick in my second order, I also picked up this. This is the Coyoto Premium line. This is the fan brush and it just looks so intriguing. And I have to say, I first opened it, I was pretty disappointed because, I mean, look how tiny this is. This is a, a tiny brush, <laughs> so it is small. Let me show you for reference. This is the Sonia G Fan Pro. <laughs> so you can see how short of a handle this is, which I knew was a short handle brush. I just didn't realize it was quite this short and I haven't gotten to use this yet, but I think it looks really nice. So I'm definitely interested in trying this out. It is a hybrid brush. So there are a couple of different hairs in there and I really wanted to try this. So I picked up this the handle, I'm not sure, I have to see what it's made out of, but it feels like a super lightweight plastic, which I wasn't really attracted to at first. It's kind of grown on me, but at first I thought it just seemed kind of cheap, so I wasn't too happy with it. But honestly, when you feel it, it also kind of, it, feel, it has kind of like a ceramic feel to it. It's not ceramic, but that type of smoothness to it. And then, as I mentioned in one of my Will I Buy It videos, I picked up the Tom Ford Mercurial Eye Quad. And I actually picked this up from one of the Tom Ford boutiques just hours before it was available at Sephora. But it had already shipped, so I, you know, ended up paying full price for it. But thankfully, I really like it. I've been testing it out. This is a, another eye look with it that I have on now. I wanted to try and get something neutral that didn't really lean on the pink shade because again, that's kind of the start of the show, but I wanted to see the versatility of the palette. And so far I am happy with it. I am working on a very thorough review of this palette along with comparisons. Now for comparisons, I didn't have Honeymoon, but as we have all heard, I'm sure this, <clears throat> Now for comparisons, I didn't already have Honeymoon and I'm sure we have all heard that and we've all seen that this palette looks like a combination of Nude Dip and Honeymoon. I have Nude Dip, so I will be comparing that. And from the Sephora sale, I picked up Honeymoon. So I haven't tested this one yet, but these two shades here have some similarity and I have held them up next to each other. They have similarities but they don't look like they are the same to me and we'll see i haven't obviously i haven't swatched these yet but i will have a very detailed review coming up soon in a few days now before we move on to the rest of the items i purchased from sephora let me show you what i picked up with my beautylish gift cards so after my two orders i ended up with a 60 dollars gift card i spent more than 60 dollars, but it was still like reasonable I picked up these three brushes. So I love the Koyoto Fupa 03 brush. This is, well, mine's Denta here from dropping it, <laughs> but I love this brush. It's my favorite foundation brush and it's retired technically, but these are the new replacements. So there's a mini, which I knew it wasn't going to be the same size as this, but I wanted to test it to compare it to the Westman Atelier Baby Blender. And we'll see how that goes. I just washed these, so they're still, I'm not 100% sure that they are completely dry in the center. So I'm still letting them dry before I use them for another day. This one, I don't remember the name of this. I think it's the, the 04 now, and this the original was the 03. This is the one that I thought seemed to be the same. They look the same in the photos. Now online, when you look at the dimensions, the dimensions aren't exactly the same. And you can see when I put the, when I line these up, there's a slight height difference. Okay, so I think there's a very, very slight difference between the two. But again, I haven't gotten to use the new one yet to compare them, but I'm very excited to try them out because Again, as I mentioned, this is my favorite foundation brush, so I would love for everybody to be able to experience it. It's so wonderful. Before the redesign of the Fupa line, they had another brush that I had been wanting to try, and this is basically the version of that. I think it's the Zero Two, and 
I picked this up so I can test this out. I don't have, you know, the old version to compare it to, but I just wanted to try this brush. Now let's take a look at what I picked up from Sephora. First, I picked up this Ilia holiday set. This is the eye clean set or eye heart clean set. And it comes with one of their new liquid eyeshadows and an eyeliner and the mascara that's so popular. The liner and the mascara are full size and then the eyeshadow is a mini size. So I wanted to try this. This was a $45 set. I thought it was a good way to try all of these items. And it does come in this kind of like neoprene bag. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it feels kind of like neoprene. So it'd be a good beach bag. As I mentioned, I picked up the Tom Ford Honeymoon eyeshadow quad. I also picked up Virgin Orchid, which has been on my list for such a long time, but I have never gotten it because every time I see it in person, it's more pink than I think. And then in the photos, it looks more purple and we'll see. So again, I kind of forgot what it looked like in person and it looked more purple online. So I was like really eager to get it. I think it looks nice, but I'm curious to see if it's gonna live up to my expectations. I also picked up this palette from Ether Beauty and this is on sale at Sephora plus the VIB discount. So this is the Amethyst Crystal Gemstone Palette and it's normally $58. It's marked down to 40 and it's purples. So I had to, I wanted to try it and I thought about trying one of their little new minis, but since this one was already on sale and these colors look so pretty, I wanted to try this one. And I mean, I'm not sure if you can see, like this one here is like shifting. So when I hold it here, it kind of looks like a deep green and then it looks purple. So let's swatch that one actually. So here that is on my finger. So I'm very eager to try these out and we'll see if they work for me or not. Another, another item I picked up from Sephora is this Herbivore Bacuchio Serum and I've been really wanting to try this and I don't currently use retinol. My skin is very sensitive and doesn't always react well to retinol products. So I wanted to test this one out. I also picked up this BB Repair Blow Dry um, Cream and this was based off of some recommendations from viewers. Another item that has been recommended to me by many of you is the Guerlain Highlighting Stick in Nude. And to me, this looks a lot like the Surratt Highlighting Stick, the Torche Lumiere's. So I'm very curious to see how they compare. So this is the shade, I have to say, packaging wise at least, it's much it's much bigger than the Surratt. So the Surratt is 0 0.41 ounces or 11 and a half grams. And, oh, the Guerlain is actually 11 grams or 0.3 ounces. So surprisingly, the Surratt has more product, but this is a much larger package. This is plastic, this is metal. I've already started testing this, but this is the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. I wanted to see how this compared to the Surratt because I love that. And I know some of my friends, you know, they have been swearing by this one and I've just never gone around to trying it. Now, one of the things I really like about it is the dual end. So you can see you've got this tiny small point here and you have a larger brush tip here. And from what I understand, this is actually two separate eyeliners. So they're drawing from two separate wells. So in that sense, it's a good deal. So you have like a well of liquid for one and a well of liquid for the other. I also picked up one of the Yves Saint Laurent Slim Glow Mattes. And I need to try this because I wanted to know whether it was worth picking up more of these or not. So this is the package. It's really pretty. So you've got this metal soft pink. You've got this matte black here. And this is it. So let's go ahead and swatch this. So it's peachier than I thought. This is called, well, it's number 207. I don't remember. The name had illegal in it. Let's see if the box. It's illegal rosy nude. 
Now, personally, I think it looks more peachy nude than rosy nude. So we'll see how this goes, but I've been hearing so many great things about this. So I can't wait to test this one out. I also picked up the NARS eyeshadow base and I picked up, I think the original shade. I couldn't decide between the original or the light. I'm pretty sure this is the original. Yeah, so it's the original, which is the white base. And I wanted to try this one because, well, I'm light enough that I don't need to have something that matches my skin tone. And I thought the colors might pop a little bit more on the white base. So I picked this one up to try. And then I also picked up this from Shiseido. This is the Kajal um, Ink Artist Shadow Liner Brow. So it's a shadow liner and brow. And I picked up the green and this, Let's see how this looks. So there's one line of it. To say it's very creamy going on. Feels nice. Can't wait to play with this shade. So it is a like a bright forest green. And then I also picked up another La Rouge Deep Velvet lipstick. And this is gonna be shade number 10, Beige New. And this is it. I don't wanna swatch it yet, but it's gorgeous. So I really like these. I'm not huge on matte lipsticks, but these are the ones I really like. They're a creamy matte, and honestly, these Givenchy cases are gorgeous. Even though they sell some separate cases now that are, you know, have different designs and so forth, I think the ones that come normally are just so gorgeous. So with this particular line, you've got the red velvet. I wouldn't want to change this case out at least. And then I also have some hair care items, and these I was going to pick up from Sephora and then I saw that Christoph Robin actually has 20% off on their site. Was it 20% off? I think it was. And so I was going to order from there and then it turns out that um, Costco had some. So I picked these up actually online from Costco and I picked up the Regenerating Shampoo with Prickly Pear Oil and then I picked up the Mask in the same line. And we'll see how these go, but I actually want to pick up a few more items and try them. So I'm gonna test those out and then possibly place an order at Christoph Robin as well. I also picked up the rose shampoo, which I have used before and I liked it. There is like this rose like mask, like it's a one time a week kind of deep clean thing that I wanna try as well as the, I wanna get the conditioner that goes with this. So the rose is the volume line. So we'll see how these items go. I've only used samples of the Rose line, but I liked it. And they weren't like the little packets, they were like travel size bottles. So I used them for a little while and I love the Rose scent. So for me, it was really nice. It's like something calming and relaxing before bed. So I wanted to pick those up since I saw them at Costco. Just drop this. So thankfully it wasn't anything that could break. And I have one last item to share with you guys. And that is this lipstick, which, you know, I, I really, I almost didn't get it. I was going back and forth with Yachty from Yachty Beauty actually about whether or not I should order it like for, for hours. It was at Selfridges that I first saw it. And then I ordered it. They only have one in stock. So I, it went out of stock and I was like, oh my gosh, I should have gotten it. And then they put up another one. So I ended up ordering it. And then what, the day that it was arriving to me, it showed up on Neiman Marcus and it was on sale. <laughs> so I was like, oh no. But this is the Golden V case. And you know, I've never gotten something like this before. And I probably won't do it on a regular basis, maybe ever, <laughs> I'm not sure yet, but I couldn't resist this. And for those of you who have been following me for a while, I was a biology teacher for quite a while. And you know, bees are something we talked about a lot. We had a bee specialist come to our school and everything and seeing this bee and just, it, I, I had to have it. So I picked this up and I considered it a celebration of hitting like a thousand subscribers and so forth, even though at this point I, I'm now past that. But this set does also come with the lipstick and this one is the number 214. 
and it is this gorgeous red. So I've had this for a couple of weeks now, but I haven't been able to bring myself to actually put it on yet. I just keep looking at it. I know that might sound kind of silly, but it's just so pretty. So in this box, you get obviously the gorgeous box. You have a, just this is just a case, you know, one of the velour cases to hold your lipstick and it does actually have a drawstring. So you can close it up and it is lined inside with, I don't think it's, it's satin, but it's something satiny. So uh, it is, um, you know, a little bit heavier duty case than what you usually get with some of these types of lipsticks. That is everything that I have recently picked up. And I do have a few items from my last haul video that I still haven't gotten to, such as a couple of the new Dior palettes or new Dior quints. So I will be working on going through all of these items over the next two months. I'm really gonna try and slow down on purchasing and focus more on what I have because obviously I have tons of stuff. And sometimes a lot of these new things that come out you know, they're kind of similar to what you already have. So we're gonna be, I'm gonna be playing with all of these things. If you're interested in seeing them on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when a new video will come up. And I am so excited to delve into these products and really see if they become a love or a like or a not so great. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was fun for you. And I really would love to hear what you picked up and not just from the Sephora sale or the Beautylish sale, but in general, what have you been picking up recently? And is there anything in particular that I have here that you would like to see first? Any like thing I should prioritize? So please let me know down below in the comments or DM me on Instagram. I'm at Alexis Jong. The information's down below in the description box. And thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.